What is going on? Why don't I see a loading screen for this? Is is that just because the like loading stage is there, so it's not showing in game or something? I'll have to look into that. But this error message doesn't appear to really be an error. I mean, I'd like to set the owner of the object. It's not going to destroy itself. Let's see if that fixes some of our stuff. Okay, so the problem is that supposedly this like remove from parent might be screwing this whole thing up.
All right, I need to see if this actually works or not. No, it still may not destroy audio component. But it doesn't blow up. Okay, that needs to be a, like an info log then, because that's not... not actually doing anything okay Mission set to loading stage. All right, so I need to double check. That the, I'm gonna put the set for loading stage. So loading stage time is one second. Let's put that at like 15 seconds and just make sure it's actually doing what we want. Because it might be that I'm just getting distracted. No, it looks like the... The cutscene UI is not actually set up to properly work. So let's go to the UI. Screens, mission, cutscene, screen. So the mission cutscene screen, yeah, it's not set up for skipping to the correct thing. So let's go snag that. That's going to be the mission loading screen I think has what we need.
uh, should be fetch initial data and this guy should be check game state on the update So let's see. Fetch initial data is not a function. All right, so we want update pre-mission cutscene. Uh, I think this is the one where we're doing this. So let's see what this guy is going to tell us. So we're going to play our cutscene and if we hit skip, we're going to do that. So sometimes this thing isn't doing that. I think it's because it's having a race condition with loading or something like that. Come on, now that I put a breakpoint there, you're not going to...
All right, well then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. We'll do this has started playing video. And then for our is playing, if um, just do it that way, and then I'll basically be like, this has to return is playing for this uh, for this thing to actually. do something. It has to actually have started playing. I think there's like a one frame gap where it may have loaded but not actually started playing. So it's going to immediately skip this whole thing unless we're actually in here, so we should actually wait like three seconds here. No, I guess just one second's enough. Okay.
So on the other hand, uh, we need to hook up all this stuff for all this. I need to check a few things. Okay, so we have pre-mission cutscene. All right, so the other thing we should do is get our cutscene here. So it'll be like get cutscene actor is valid. If that is false, then we do this guy. And we need to grab all of this and make a new function here, which is start cutscene. All right, so we'll destroy a cutscene and then we'll warn about things. And destroy cutscene should set that to null. So we need to go to that set pre mission and basically we need to call start cutscene with this. And then we go here. So we can get all this trash out of here. And then we need to go to update. God, there's just too much stuff. Let's see update pre mission cutscene. And then we just call destroy cutscene. Okay. So let's go hook up the other pieces of the stage. Which are going to come in for sit 
pre-mission cutscene, set pre-stage cutscene. Um, we're going to have destroy cutscene come in here. I guess we don't need to keep calling destroy cutscene everywhere. I mean, we're calling it all over the place, so who cares? Alright, so set game state and next time... And um, we're going to pre-stage cutscene. Okay, so what we want to do is check if we actually have a cutscene. So let's get a get current stage. I'll break it. Let's get the intro cutscene, and we're gonna call play cutscene or something like that. Start cutscene. And then we'll check if the current cutscene is playing. So if this is valid. We'll do set in stage. If it's not valid. Uh, we're basically going to check this type. If this equals none, then we just uh, return. All right, let's do update pre-stage cutscene. So And we need to call destroy cutscene. Uh, where is, are we calling it like update pre mission, destroy cutscene, set pre stage? Alright, end stage. Pre-mission, destroy cutscene, destroy cutscene, set in stage. So we should play the cutscene for the start. Um, we then have this um, pre-mission post-stage cutscene. So post-stage cutscene is just going to get the current mission, current stage, we're going to break that, grab the exit cutscene, oh 
will not run gameplay task. Fucking start cutscene. And then we check if it's valid. So if it is not valid, then we're going to do server set host stage. Well, what's our what's our flow for this? Uh, it's not open. So post stage cutscene goes to post stage, All right? So set post stage. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go to our update post stage cutscene. And we need the update pre stage cutscene logic. And we need to do the destroy cutscene. And then we'll go post stage. Um, so then we need post mission cutscene. So set post mission cutscene we're going to play uh, get current mission break it apart I guess I uh, get mission break that and do our exit cutscene And post mission cutscene goes to post mission. So we need to check if this guy is valid. If that is false, then we're going to call set post mission. And then in our update, update post mission cutscene, we're going to need this logic here. Okay, so everything should have a cutscene now and should play it. So let's go make sure that that actually is true and also works. So let's give ourselves that intro cutscene for every stage and for everything. So gel intro, gel intro, save that, export it, play it. So, going to start, plays the cutscene, can skip that, it goes to loading the stage, we go into the pre-stage screen, we hit start, so we play the cutscene, which we can skip, we boot into the stage, we have 30 seconds to score a goal,
and we play our cutscene. We skip the cutscene. It goes into the uh, the stage screen. We hit continue. It goes into the post mission cutscene. We skip that, and it goes into the post mission screen. So we can go retry. It'll go back to the stage, play the stage intro, the pre-stage cutscene. Uh, we can fail the mission, so we'll sit here for 30 seconds. Well, we'll juggle the ball for 30 seconds. And we lost, so we didn't get a cutscene. And we do continue, which takes us to you have failed. So we never got a cutscene because we f fucked it all up. We go to retry. Goes right through again. All right. Make sure it works with the controller. And it totally works with the controller. All right, holy shit, that's cool. That works. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a shipping build for this guy. I'm gonna make sure that these cutscenes work in a shipping build. How's it going, Jeff? I am just waiting on a shipping build now. And um, I've got it so we can play cutscenes all over the place with videos and the sound works and you can pause the cutscenes and all that sort of stuff. It's it's amazing. So I'm just gonna make sure it works in a shipping build. Yeah, so Adam's uh, got the sequencer stuff that he's been working on. He'll be able to export videos, and then we'll be able to play those for cutscenes. And that way... That way we can actually tell, like, the story for the single-player game, right? Like, that's, that's kind of exciting. I think that's something Adam has been waiting for for... Um, seven years, maybe? <laughs> you know, like, as he was working on the previous Dashkin game, and this is... Oh, it's Jeff. He's, he's here to ruin my streak. Oh, no. I've been grinding goals all, all day here, and this Joker jumps in here. I've had to defend my, my champion crown from, from Adam, and I've, I've done that so far. And this guy just, he wants, he just wants to cause problems. Shit. No, no. Oh, 
Oh, no, I'm getting the, the frame stutter from cooking the build, too. <laughs> oh, man. oh, I didn't get you. I didn't get the ball, but I did get you. Oh, he's he's going easy now. He's hitting it back towards his own goal. I see how it is. You don't need to go easy. I'm just here farming up, farming up points. Every every punch gives me one more point. Victory is not necessary. Only points. I wasn't going fast enough to do the slide I wanted. Oh. Two minutes. Oh! <laughs> Jeff, how could you? You're throwing the game. <laughs> oh, that down spike. That's brutal. That's in. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Brutal hit. One minute left. <laughs> the setup, and then I just punched you in the face. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's like my uh, my character got angry for missing the ball and instead just socked his opponent. <laughs> Pull his Latin on the game. What do we got? Uh, maybe triple triple jumps at Midnight Ridge. Ambient upside. It's true. Uh, once I verify this. This package build actually works. I'll probably be getting out of here because I'm real hungry. I must feed. And that's pretty cool. Like, we got cutscenes working today, and we also got those cutscenes integrated into the game. So we can play cutscenes. Um, it's not perfect, right? Like, obviously, if you're retrying a mission, you don't want to see that fucking cutscene every goddamn time. You know, like, <laughs> you try a, a mission, but, oh, wow, that was crap. Oh, it's only pop-up? I did not realize that. But I'm the master of this aerial game. <laughs> Just because it's only pop up doesn't mean I can't be a jerk about it. There we are. That's in. That's so in. We'll get we'll give you a chance here. I'll give you I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, 
four, five. Ah, shit. <laughs> all right. Five seconds is all Jeff needs. Good to know. <laughs> oh crap mouse is gone. <laughs> I hit the I hit the push to talk button. Oh no. I thought that was in. The thing with uh, pop-ups is, oh, oh. <laughs> the thing with pop-ups is you can only do one pop-up uh, while you're in the air. You have to actually land before you can do another pop-up. So when you got triple jumps and pop-ups, it's kind of interesting because you you only get one shot at hitting the hitting the birdie. Getting frame drops because the freaking build going. Ah, shit. I was not. I, I, I tried to slow it down, but I slowed it down too much. Oh no, that's that's so close. Oh shit. <laughs> no no, I'm not I'm not letting the easy shot in. <laughs> no way. Oh That was that was a tense game. Man, you even got more touches than I did on it. That is not common. Yeah, I haven't cooked this stuff in quite a while, so I guess it's taken a little while. Ambient clothes, it's true. Well, yeah, one of the other things I added is you can now scroll with the uh, the right controller axis. Go in there! Ah. <laughs> oh man, I want that those double jumps back. Did the hesitation move? Ah. 
Ow. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, damn it. Not not happening. All right, that's it's on target almost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Oh, I was going in for the easy lay-in, and, and he had the defense. Oh, shit. Millimeters. The bounce? Nope, no bounce. Creating a new dynamic texture. Wait, what? Yeah! Alright, I got one. <laughs> the trip. Oh, he almost got it too. Oh no, 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 no. Get out of here. This thing's taking a while to cook that shipping build. Ah. Done saving asset registry. Come on, cook that build up. All right, now it's staging it. All right, so it looks like this is the last game. Almost got it. Oh, that's oh, that was so close. Blam! Come on, bounce in there. All right, that shipping build is oh. No way. I was like, that was going to go in from that angle? Amazing. Ow. Over my head. All right. No. Too high. The bounce isn't there. Oh, I almost got the last second shot, but I missed. Good game, Jeff. Excellent job, sir. But uh, I'm going to have to duck out here and test out this uh, shipping build. <laughs> GG, sir. Go check those leaderboards. Um, let's see if... Uh... Man, Karakan's still above me in score. And Adam appears to have ground up another, like, 5,000 points. Man. I'm going to have to get my grinding boots on here. You did okay for... Yeah, you definitely did more than okay for a, a ping like that.
All right, so movies actually go right in there. I guess that's something to think about. So let me just uh, turn this on. Do I need a dashkin? Okay, yeah, the missions probably need to be copied over as well as the UI now. So it should be going in dashkin, dashkin, what, game data missions? I think it should go right there. Let's check if this actually does what we want. Ah, it plays our cutscene. There we go. So that's the pre-mission cutscene. Let's skip that and let's load into our mission. And let's start our stage. So we got our pre-stage cutscene. Which we skip and uh, then we can go to our, to our mission. We gotta score a goal in 30 seconds. I'm gonna screw it up just because I've been playing against Jeff and I'm all nervous. There we go. Post mission cutscene. <laughs> A post stage cutscene. So we get our stage results and then our mission results. Excellent. So we got that all working. So I think that's definitely good enough for today for me. So thanks for sticking around. And uh, I hope everybody has an excellent day. So, goodbye. Goodbye. So let's see, is there anybody I know who's online who's like worth... No, there's nobody I know online. So, alright. So yeah, I will see you.